Am I the astronaut for accidentally poisoning my boyfriend? And it's a cake story, so... I thought it was chocolate, I'm sorry. My boyfriend, 25 male, just recently passed his bar exam, and to celebrate, we and a big group of his friends all went out for dinner and drinks. His friends and I don't really see eye to eye. They think that I'm too young for him, I just turned 20. He's 25. And that I will distract him from his dreams of being an attorney. To me, his passing his bar exam proved that that is not the case. I was excited to be there with all of them to celebrate this and show them how supportive I really was, so I decided to get a cake to share with everyone as well. After we finished eating dinner, I cut the cake and passed it out to everyone. They all raved at how delicious it was, even my boyfriend. However, no more than two minutes after we started eating it, my boyfriend's lips and face started to swell up. He was clearly having an allergic reaction. It had to have been my cake as the reaction was immediate. It actually got really bad really quickly. His whole face got swollen and puffy and we were considering going straight to the emergency room. Luckily, the commotion at our table caught the attention of a couple seated nearby who happened to be carrying an EpiPen. We administered the pen and his symptoms began to fade. Even though his swelling did not get worse, he still did not feel well and looked a bit like a balloon, so we all agreed to end the celebration early and head home. I felt like a jerk and his friends were all upset that the party had to end and were blaming me for ruining the night. As it turns out, my boyfriend is very allergic to gelatin. We have not been dating more than a few months and I had no idea about this allergy. He said that cake usually isn't a problem for him, which is why he didn't hesitate to eat the one I had brought. We called the bakery the next day and apparently they do use gelatin and part of the icing on this particular cake. Okay. There's, there's, there's more to the story here, but okay. My boyfriend isn't mad at me for any of this because he knows that I did not intend to poison him and that I didn't even know about his allergy. But all of his friends keep saying how I ruined the celebration and that my ignorance almost killed him. They keep telling him that this incident is not the last and that he should end our relationship while he still can. I feel awful about making him sick, but am I the a-hole for it even though it was an accident? <clears throat> We're going to bring Miles up to talk on this too. My first thoughts here are he didn't tell her about the allergy. She didn't make the freaking cake. The bakery didn't be like, oh yeah, by the way, in case somebody here has a gelatin allergy, it's used in this icing. It is ultimately on the person with the allergy, if they're a grown ass adult, to make sure that they are careful with that allergy. That's my thoughts. I'm gonna keep it there so that we can bring Miles on and have him talk a little bit about the story too. Ladies and gentlemen, Miles. So the points you made on it are were the same kind of lines I was thinking. Um, also, all of those friends that like freaked out, if any of them had done it, I have a feeling they all would have backed each other up and been like, oh, wait, he didn't know or she didn't know. So I'm wondering why she didn't get the same treatment, probably just because it was a fresh relationship. But OP mentions at the beginning of the story, they were already trying to get rid of her. They were already trying. They were already trying to get rid of her. They just used this as an excuse. They didn't know. They didn't know about it. They could have been just as guilty for it. But because they were already trying to get ready for her because she's 20 and he's 25 and they're they're like, man, she's just going to she's going to hold you back, man. She's going to she can't even drink yet. She's going to hold you back, man. Oh, the drinking thing is definitely a big one of their points. In Guaranteed. Guaranteed because, yeah, they want to, yes. They just want to drink and party with him. And when she's around, they can't do that. Right. I mean, they could, but anyway, they were trying to get rid of her already. They just used this as additional ammo. They're attorneys, bro. What If they're already on a mission and you give them a good piece of ammo, what do you think is going to happen? Of course, this. But because it is so simple, it should be pretty easy to defend. It should be pretty easy to squash because it is so simple minded. It is bullshit. And all also, I think, OP, you should you should take this back to him and be like, do you see what your friends are attempting to do here? And also, it's more important to your friends that they have you to hang out with and drink with and, and do lawyery things with than it is for you to have a relationship and happiness. What does that say to you about your friends? Exhibit A. Yeah, congratulations. You're uh, As soon as you open up your law firm, you now owe, owe someone t for the replacement cost of an EpiPen. And those are not cheap. Um, I don't know how much it really is, but it's stupid. Caden Thunder, 750 bucks. There it is. Expansive. 